So this question is a translate word problem question. I know that because it's greater than four lines long. And basically the strategy means that instead of reading the entire question all the way through, I really want to you know, write down any quantitative information, do any translating of anything that I see here. Just make sure I fully understand this question on my first try, right? Like I want to make sure that everything is written down on that first go through so that I don't have to continue to reread the question. So the first sentence here says that at the beginning of the day, there were 500 items for sale in the store. So I'm going to say beginning, beginning, we had 500 items. The number of items for sale at the end of the day was R percent less than the number at the beginning of the day. Okay, so and we're going to have that same 500, but we're going to subtract from that uh, R percent of the 500. So the way I write that mathematically is 500 times. Now I could just write R percent here, but instead, because I know that on the SAT, I'm never going to actually do math with the actual percentage. It's always going to be the decimal form of the percentage. Now I don't know what R is as a number, so I can't just automatically turn it into a decimal, but the closest that I can get is to call it R divided by 100, right? Like that is the actual thing that we would do. And just as an example, for instance, if I had 5%, 5% is the same as 5 over 100, which is the same as 0 0.05 as a decimal, right? But because I don't know what R is, the best I can get is R over 100. The next sentence says, which expression represents the number of items for sale at the end of the day? Well, here is the expression that represents that. I already wrote it down, 500 minus 500 times R over 100. Let me check my answers. I don't see that. In fact, all of my answers have parentheses with the 500 outside the parentheses. So I am going to recreate uh, that for myself by saying, hey, I can think of 500 as a greatest common factor, which means if I pull it out of this expression, I then have parentheses, right? 500 times one gives me that 500 minus the R over 100, right? 500 times R over 100 is the 500 times R over 100. So just, you know, straight factoring um, should be pretty familiar for you. And then I look back to my answer choices. I also do not have that either, but again, um, a, B, and C have fractions, and they're a single fraction. There's not like a separation here. So I'm going to say, hey, what would happen if I have 1 over 1 minus R over 100? I need to have a common denominator. So I make this 100 over 100. Oops. Don't need that extra 1. And then by doing that, I could then combine the numerator to 100 minus R, combine the denominators to a single 100, and then my answer would become 500 parentheses, 100 minus R, all over 100. And now I do see my answer, right? There it is. Answer choice A is the correct answer here.